Hi, this is Chris Spangler with Team 5280 Lacrosse. Uh, we're going out here to try and teach you guys how to play some lacrosse wall ball. And the only thing you really need is a bag of balls, glove and stick, and a nice smooth concrete surface. When you guys are doing this, you want to try and find a place that's high enough for you to make your pass and catches, and it's got a clear room behind you. Um, I'm about five to seven yards away from the wall, and I'm just going to pick a one spot on the wall and try and hit that. We're going to talk about keeping your hands away from your body and out away from uh, your throwing form. Notice I'm not standing flat-footed. I've got one foot forward, and I'm just passing and catching. Try and hit the same spot every time. The worst thing you can do is stand flat-footed with your face in the wall. You want to have them staggered off like you're going to be playing lacrosse. We call it an athletic stance. And you're standing up on your toes. I'm not back on my heels. I'm up on my toes moving around. Never stand flat-footed. All your coaches tell you about catching on the move. Notice my arms are out away from my body. I'm not in tight like this. It's a nice, natural, fluid throwing motion. I'm following through. So if you guys find yourselves too close to the wall and you can't extend your arms, you need to back away a couple feet. I can tell when a player is getting better is the lower down on the wall they're aiming and the further back they stand. So if I can stand all the way back here and throw at eye level, I know that the player's got good stick skills. Once you guys do 100 on your right hand, shoot for 100 on your left hand. All right, that's the basics. Remember, keep your hands out away from your body. Find a good spot to throw and catch. Make sure you aren't breaking any windows out there. And this week's challenge, I want you to throw four sets of 25 each hand. Throw 25 right, 25 left, four times for a total of 100. And I'll see you on the wall.